Okay, we're doing this. Hey, how are you doing? P Doc here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about three brutally simple but versatile ways to make your conversations more fun, therefore less awkward. Before anything, this is T Doc himself. In case you were wondering, yes, I do have a nose, ears, eyes. Hmm, I wouldn't be too sure about the eyes. And guess what? That's actually the first one we're going to talk about today. I wouldn't be too sure about something. This is a response that you can use when the other party in the conversation is overconfident about something that you know for sure is not the case. Um, at the same time, you're kind enough to not burst that bubble of his or hers. For example, um, your friend might say, this girl that I have a crush on, I think she's hitting back on me because she just asked me to do her homework for her. Um, you can say, hmm, I wouldn't be too sure about that, bro. Next one on the list is, well, that's new. This is an expression that you can use when you hear a bad news that's hard to process to liven up the atmosphere. I actually used this one a couple weeks ago. This is a real life example. Um, we had this high profile client that we had been engaged with for about three months. We thought we were gonna get a renewal contract but at a morning huddle, my manager told me that they were not not gonna renew with us. We lost them. It came to me as a shock. So I just said, well, that's new. Um, and then immediately my manager just started laughing. Um, that gave me a little buffer time to, to collect my thoughts and phrase a more delicate response. To, to actually evaluate the situation before spitting out anything crazy. Last one, this one is my all time favorite. It goes like, there's only one way to find out. It's totally a universal solution when people are being indecisive in your group, it usually helps them make up their minds. For example, your friend might ask, is it okay we park here? Are we gonna get a ticket tomorrow morning? You can be like, only one way to find out. Bonus example. The number one decision groups have to make is probably picking a restaurant. And you oftentimes hear this, what do you wanna eat for dinner? The other person goes, anything babe? And you go, oh, what about this new restaurant that's open, let's go there. And she goes, hmm, are you sure about that? Is it good? And you'd be like, there's only one way to find out. That usually shuts them down pretty well. Um, it's a little risky if, if the other party is your girlfriend, but uh, just throwing this out there. All right, that's what I have for you today. Being sassy and able to laugh through the hard times runs deep in American culture. I hope this will add a little more fun to your everyday conversations. Until the next time.